Hello friends, welcome to your channel Electronics for You. Friends, in this video, I will talk about electromagnetism. The word electromagnetism itself made up of two different words. One is electricity and another one is magnetism. So, electromagnetic phenomena is defined in terms of electromagnetic force which includes both electricity and magnetism. That's why the word electro magnetism is there basically earlier they were considered as a two different phenomena but now hence Austin discovered that these two were related and therefore nowadays electricity and magnetism are considered to be same phenomena now let us talk about some basic things the first one is properties of magnet you are already aware of properties of magnet it attracts the ferromagnetic substance then it has two poles and they uh, the like poles repel each other whereas unlike poles attracts each other the poles of the magnets are always in pairs then if the magnet is suspended then the north uh, it will be raised in the north south direction just like this okay now the most important which is useful in uh, this video that is the magnetic field okay so so a magnet always has magnetic field we will discuss it further now let us talk about the magnetic effect of electric current a current carrying conductor creates the magnetic field around it which has been understood by using magnetic lines of force or magnetic lines. So we know that a current carrying conductor creates the magnetic field. For that we are having this experiment. This is a paper and this is this is our compass which is uh, which was shown in my previous slide there. It is kept over here and it uh, one conductor is passed through this cardboard here and let us apply some supply DC supply here and a key, when I insert the key into this the current will start flowing through this okay you can you can replace this key with a switch also so in this case what will happen if the current starts flowing this magnet uh, due to the magnetism in this conductor as we are saying that it will generate the magnetic field here and the, due to this magnetic field there is a deflection in this compass okay and therefore this magnet will move and it will indicate that the magnetic field is created here as it is mentioned that this concept can be understood by using the concept of magnetic lines of force or magnetic field lines. So let us talk about the magnetic field lines first. The area of influence of a magnet is called magnetic field. Okay, so magnetic field is nothing but the area of the area of influence of the magnet. It can be expressed by using the bar magnet and iron uh, filling ex filing experiment okay so if you are having a pole magnet and uh, if you put iron filling over the car uh, if you put this magnet over the cardboard and iron filling is spread over here and if you tap the cardboard at that time the field is produced just like this and this field is nothing but known as magnetic field now this magnetic field has both magnitude and direction but this property is not uh, we will not discuss about this property here as well as the direction of these li lines of forces are from north pole to south pole okay therefore we can say that it is generated in the north pole and it is terminated over here in the south pole more the lines are there it means that 
the relative strength of the magnet is more it means that if these lines are dense like this okay if it is dense like this then magnet will be more power powerful okay this is these are the properties of magnetic lines of force now let again move to the same experiment magnetic field due to current carrying conductor so if the current is passing over here the magnetic field is generated around it okay here the around it word is used it means that the magnetic field will be generated around it just like this okay and it will have some direction also here here the same experiment is there and it is indicated that the magnetic lines of forces are generated around it okay so this is this is the diagram here and this picture will look like exactly this okay here is the conductor it is a current carrying conductor if the current is passing through it it will generate the magnetic field just like this okay now there was a single wire but if a wire is wounded over there and if we form a coil then then this magnetic field is intensified it means that a stronger magnetic field will be there if a coil of wire just like this if a coil of wire is used it is known as solenoid and if we use solenoid instead of a single wire a strong magnetic field will be generated just like this okay now let us talk about the direction of this magnetic field around the conductor and it is given by right hand thumb rule the convenient way of finding the direction of magnetic field around the conductor so what you have to do you have to grab the conductor just like that in the direction of current you should put your thumb okay th here thumb indicates the direction of current this is the direction of current and to this direction if you p if you are using right hand keep your thumb of right hand in the direction of current then your curly finger will indicate the direction of a magnetic field that is the simplest rule which will indicate the direction of magnetic field around the conductor that we were talking about okay so in short when the electric current passes through the wire magnetic field is formed around the wire okay this is the only half part and very important part is there the converse is also true that is when the magnetic field is surrounding by a conductor moves a relative to conductor it produces the current that is the production of current we will discuss about this this concept is known as electromagnetic induction and i i will discuss it up discuss about it in my next video so keep watching thank you